Good morning, Lima and Allen County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I'm Rob Nelson, and my wife, Nicole Nelson, and I own two companies here uh, located in downtown Lima. One is called Lima Meaningful Development, and the other is Met Place Properties. When we talk about development, I usually get three questions. One is, why Lima? The second is, why downtown? And the third is, why that big building on the corner of North and Main? We chose Lima because A, it was close to her family, but also because it afforded us really three wonderful opportunities. The first was a great place to earn a living. The second is a great place to enjoy family. And the third really was a sense, uh, the opportunity to be a part of a community, really be a part of a community. Uh, my grandmother, who I had the fortunate opportunity of living with when I was growing up, uh, we lived in a two flat in Chicago. She lived upstairs, my parents and I lived downstairs. Uh, she said, she taught me a lot of things besides learning to clean the baseboards properly with Murphy's oil soap, uh, learning how to cook the family secrets, learning how to dance because she said that would always be the best way for me to find my true loves if I could learn how to dance. Um, but she said, she always gave me the question like how are you going to make a difference? Not just make a difference as being a good father, not just make a difference in being a good husband, but how are you going to make a difference in your community? And, and Lima really affords many of us those opportunities to make a difference. Because when you're in a larger city, you're sometimes you're just a number. But here, kind of like uh, the old Cheers and Sam Malone and Norm, there's a place where everybody knows your name. And there's a comfort level to that. And the second thing is, well, now that you're doing this development, why are you coming into downtown? Well, there's, there's a real simple answer for that. Like The city, really the city is where our family lives, works, and plays. Uh, in our building at North and Main, we can literally bike or walk from our home there. Uh, we can walk from our home and the office to the places that we work. Uh, we can also walk to <clears throat> the museum, the Y, the Civic Center, art space, the children's garden, and the, uh, the local library, all within walking distance. So one of the ways in downtown Lima, at least in our vision, uh, we see as, as, as growing and a real opportunity for a lot of people uh, in terms of investment is this concept of a mixed-use environment and that 100 years ago all of these buildings including the one we're sitting in was mixed-use. What do we mean by mixed-use? People lived upstairs, they worked on the middle floors and then they played in the basement or on the first floor and that's what we're trying to recreate here and in fact that's what we can recreate all up and down Main Street and all up and down North Street are these buildings where you, they're alive 18 hours a day. In this mixed use, we have residential suites, uh, technically called live work suites, that have one to two bedrooms with fireplaces, stainless steel appliances, and hardwood floors. You know, there's always the saying that they don't make them like they used to. Well, you know what? The buildings that we're in, this is the way they used to make them. And they've already been here for 100 years, and if we take care of them, they'll be around for another 100. What this building represents could also be hope for the for the community that we're going to be leading this to, our kids and our grandchildren. Lima Meaningful Development and Met Place Properties is really in, in the business of helping organizations, uh, small local businesses, and residents of downtown find greater meaning and happiness. And my grandmother used to tell me, Rob, you know, when we grew up in tenement housing in Chicago, we all played on the front porch. And she always referred back to this front porch idea that you know, some proverbial, mythical, you know, philosophical, biblical thing that I should understand. And I didn't for the longest of time. I thought, hey, we have a back porch, it's great. But I, I think we finally, we finally get with the concept of the front porch. At least I, I kind of get the concept of the, of, the, of the front porch. At least I think what she was trying to tell me. And I've kind of, we've kind of taken that idea of the front porch and we, we're trying to transplant that paradigm to where we're at here at the Metropolitan Block. We are trying to make downtown Lima our area's new front porch.
Jillian has built something great here and so other salons are going to see this and knowing that you, we came from such a place with such like great high tech equipment and such a big school like people are going to look into this and be like oh like she came from Ohio State Beauty Academy because she's just built such like an empire here and it's amazing so I definitely think it'll help me get a job and grow as a person and a salon stylist. And this is a very artistic field and with that there's color and creativity so that's what I wanted the vibe for this building to be. You walk in here and it's just like, I feel like I almost stepped into another world. I wanted to be different. So traveling and seeing everything, I wanted to go away from the norm. I feel like I'm really in a salon and it gets me excited to get going and wanting to be in this field and get going and work in here, so. Instead of just numbering the classrooms, being such an artistic creative field, I just thought it would be nice to have an orange room. You're not going to, to relate to students without technology. So in order to captivate students, we had to update our teachers with modern technology. This is, it's just a blessing to have all of this because around these small towns, they don't have stuff like that. This is like state of the art stuff that you see in like Columbus or big cities. So it's just amazing that we're able to have this here. Now with our staff, we're expanding because of our growth. We went from 30 stations downtown to 90. So with that, we've put a lot more of our students on the clinic floor and we are requiring them to do tasks all day, which they're now on their feet a lot more <laughs> and preparing them for what they're going to be doing in the industry. We have so many more stations now, so many more people are going to be able to come and we are able to be closer with all of our friends because there's enough room for everyone and we can just be a lot closer with all of the girls and I've built even more relationships than girls who are just in my class. I see this to be a place for the community to come in and just relax and enjoy themselves and make it a time for them to get away from, you know, the stress of their everyday life. Like everything is state of the art, it's modern, upbeat and trendy, so you definitely just feel like you walked into another world. When we got approval from the state board, um, we were told that this is by far the most impressive building in the state of Ohio. So, it's very proud of that. I'm Jason Bowers. And I'm Shannon Bowers. And we are the owners of Pears Avenue. Well, Pears Avenue is a, an idea for a boutique store that we've had for several years. Um, basically the concept in mind was to create a space that was uh, really centered around creativity and focused on vintage mid-century items, uh, handmade goods, uh, refinished, repurposed furniture, um, and then also artwork as well. So. The items in the store come from all over, whether it be auctions, estate sales, um, what I personally think is great is that there's so many talented people in the community. Uh, we, from the very beginning, felt that downtown Lima was the best fit for our store. Um, we want to show them that the downtown area is, is a great place to, to, to work and play and um, come visit. We think we're both from Lima, so we want to, our families are from here, so great for us to see it grow and see things happening in this area. So we have a special connection and, you know, I guess love for the city itself, so. So we feel it's a great fit for our store, uh, in particular being a part of the Met Block renovation project is, uh, we feel a real great opportunity and uh, it fits our store concept greatly because, you know, we're all about finding new uses for things and um, uh, bring a new life to different types of products. And uh, this building is a mix of new and old. So we have a new space and an old, old building with a lot of history and character. And it's a, it's a great uh, fit for us. We, we feel that we are the first store of its kind in this particular area. Um, you know, typically speaking, this, this kind of store is found in a larger metropolitan area. It's found um, 
in a district where there might be other art galleries or pubs and, and a lot of uh, things focused around entertainment and uh, trying to be unique and, and one of a kind as possible. So we feel that uh, this was something that Lima could use, um, was something that was needed in our estimation and uh, it's something that hopefully people will get excited about and um, to this point we've been very well received and we're very grateful for that. We wanted to uh, get people in the mindset of, you know, let's buy some, if we're going to spend our money, let's spend it on something that's going to mean something that's just not some mass produced item that, you know, you walk into your neighbor's house and they might have the exact same thing. So everything that we sell here at Paris Avenue is, is a custom piece. Um, essentially, once something sells, it's gone. And so, you know, there's a lot of artists who are skilled who can create things and, and really cost comparisons, it can be um, pretty close to what you might find at, at a large chain department store or you know, a, a .com someplace, um, but it's a, it's a custom one of a kind piece that you know, if you're going to spend your money, spend it on something that means something to you, that kind of speaks to you and uh, that's what we want to provide our customers with. You know, we, we have been pleasantly uh, surprised that we've been very well supported. It's gone better than what we had, had even hoped or anticipated. Uh, not knowing what to expect, it's uh, kind of scary and you know a lot of questions need to be answered yet. But you know we've only been in business for uh, about six or seven weeks now, but so far it's been great. And uh, that, a lot of credit should be go out to the people of this community for coming out and supporting something new and, and something different. In this mixed use, we have residential suites, uh, technically called live-work suites that have one to two bedrooms with fireplaces, stainless steel appliances, and hardwood floors. By the way, you can rent them anytime by calling my place properties at 419-604-0805. How's that for fun? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, and just a reminder, uh, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so guys, if you're looking for something unique to buy the special woman in your life, how about a handmade, piece of jewelry, we have a lot of it, and a lot of varieties. Um, come down to the store and uh, get something for that lady who means something to you. And uh, if not her, uh, your wife. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, <laughs> kidding. I, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm talking to everybody, even the guy. <laughs> Even the guy who uh, spilled orange juice on his shirt, uh, the guy with a little bit of bacon right here, I can't tell what that is. But uh, come on down to Paris Avenue, check it out, buy something unique, be different, you'll impress her. And uh, this Saturday from 10 to 2, we are having a local artist, Libby Pennington, who makes handmade jewelry. Uh, she will be at that store, so if anybody wants to meet her, that'd be great. Um, good opportunity to meet somebody who actually produces some of the fine products that Paris Avenue has to offer.